does perfect even me Is there even such a thing You do not feel good about yourself what can you do First of all you need to find out why you don't feel good about yourself like what's the reason is it something social related maybe some people say bad stuff about you like mobbing like you feel unpopular or someone said something about your look or maybe you yourself feel a certain way for example you feel like you're too fat or people say that or some people say you're too skinny you have like no muscles or something like that or you feel like oh you can't find a partner so something is wrong with your look or something like that or you feel like you're too shy or is it maybe like business or school related maybe you don't have good results in school maybe you don't have good results at work or even in sports you feel like you can't reach a certain limit or point there and that's why you don't feel good about yourself like you have to find out first of all why you don't feel good about yourself and then we need to go from there okay now you figured out what the reason is why you don't feel good about yourself but now we need to get to the cause of it like what's the cause why you don't feel good about yourself and by that i don't mean the reason but i mean the cause is it maybe you have like negative people around you that always say negative stuff and you are like influenced by it or is there actually some truth behind like what people say for example like you have maybe some bad characteristics or behavior that make you feel not good about yourself and in order to feel good about yourself you need to change that for example you are a person that's like very insecure and shy and you don't feel good about yourself because of that because you struggle to make friends or meet people then the cause for your bad feelings and not feeling good about yourself is caused by you not being the one to interact with others or maybe the cause is because you have too much weight or you're too skinny or maybe for girls like you feel like your boobs or your but it's too small of course like some things can't be changed unless you do a surgery but there are like a lot of things when it comes to look be it weight and shape even like but you can actually work that out as a girl even as a guy like there are like multiple ways to fix certain things but you need to also know why you want to change that like you know now the cost but why you do that you do it for yourself or because of other people because I, I just like realized that if you do sports and that's also one of my experiences like I used to be a little bit chubby like uh, some years ago and I had some people say hey Marcel you gained some weight you should work out and stuff like that and actually I was always a person I didn't care what other people say so I didn't get like the motivation from others to do something about it and I wasn't like fat I'm not saying I was fat but I had like a little stomach what people in Germany would call beer ball but i trained it off now it's uh, flat and i start to see some apps because i i have like a strict uh, workout routine and for me what actually back then caused me to actually like really get into fitness and then work out and lose weight was not because of others but actually i realized like i was getting some health issues like i started feeling so tired from just walking like around for like two hours and stuff and i just realized i didn't have the the, the energy like the capacity of power that that i should have also for my age because i'm not that old and then i decided to do something about it so is the cause really a problem for yourself or is it for others a problem that's something you have to also figure out If you're not feeling good about yourself, it's also related to others. Don't let other people be the only reason why you want to change yourself. Like sometimes people are just hating for no reason or they're jealous or maybe they are like exaggerating, making things like way too extreme that are like not true. For example, someone say you are way too skinny or way too fat, but in fact you are not. Or maybe someone is just hating at your look or maybe your sense of fashion. So I, I give you one example. Like certain outfits or styles you have, for example, when it comes to clothing, maybe some people like, but other types of people don't like it. You know, you have like those different kind of groups of people. Some people like, let's say, girls with big butts. Some don't like so much big butts. Some like muscular guys. Some like guys not so muscular. Like some friends like say, oh, I like this kind of hairstyle. Some say, hey, I like this. 
So you have to always make sure why you're not feeling good about yourself. If this is because of others and others force you to do something, like it's in many cases pointless and you're feeling bad about yourself for no reason. And there also comes the point of, of fake friends. Like there are some people that just hate for no reason and you're probably already beautiful the way you are unless you don't feel that way. And that's a different uh, scenario because if that's the case, then you should do something if you really don't feel good about yourself because of you. But if it's because of others, then always ask yourself if you are not happy with yourself. Like don't just take others' opinions and be like, oh, they rule my life. What they say is the truth. You also have your own eyes and your own feelings. You have a mirror. You can look in it. You can reflect on your actions yourself and decide if they are good or not. Like there are a lot of situations where people just make others feel bad for no reason. So you yeah, always watch out if it's really you that wants the change and not others. It's very important. Like I have experienced this uh, w w with a friend of mine and he's very skinny and there was one girl and, and, and he liked the girl and, and she always said, hey, you are a twig, you are like nothing, you have no muscle, you look like skin and bones and you should hit the gym. And then he went to the gym all the time and he became very, very massive. He, he became very, very muscular. And then actually, guess what happened? Uh, the, the girl dated another guy and he like tried to look for a, a new girl. And then he met a girl and the girl was like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't like guys that are super muscular. You, you look like a security guard. I'm almost intimidated by you. I was like, what? There are this kind of girls too. And yeah, and that's what happened then. And then he was like, oh my gosh, now I have too much muscle. And he had like really, really many muscle. I think his, 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 his arm, his biceps was like my face or like my head this big. I was like, whoa. Yeah, but then he got also a little bit chubby because he didn't work out anymore and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I haven't seen him for like eternity. He probably moved away. I don't know. Like we lost contact, but I just remember back then he was a, he was a freak at the gym. Wow. It's crazy he even had like all those protein stuff and yeah so yeah you have to really do stuff for yourself and do something you're happy with not to please others because that's also like the motivation if you want to change then you have a higher motivation because if you work out and you do it for others that's how i feel i don't know like maybe some people feel the same way like i always feel like annoyed i'm like oh no today i have to work out again to please others and this is why back then i didn't work out when people said i was gaining a little bit of weight but then when i realized like i start to feel tired easily and i don't have so much energy walking around then i decided to work on myself and now i can do tons of activities and, and run around like crazy i can join anyone for jogging i can even visit the gym with friends and, and i don't look bad because i can also keep up like that, that's something you have to decide for yourself to change, not do it for others. That's very, very important. And eventually, if you have a goal, you get there. Like we all have like certain goals in life and you should, you should really make sure those are your own goals, not from others. So if your goal is to look better or maybe to buy new clothes for a new style or to gain muscle, or maybe your goal is to be a good worker or student or to make more friends. Because people sometimes if they don't have many friends, they don't feel good about themselves or when they're at work or school and they don't have success or not good results, they don't feel good about themselves. So work towards your own goals. Don't let others decide what you should be like and what you should do. Do this yourself from your own heart and will and you will see you have much better results. What's also important, focus on the possible, not the impossible. For example, if you don't feel good about yourself because you're short, let's say you're 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, just for example, you can change your height. Like even, I never heard of surgeries that actually really change it. Maybe by like from 5'5 five, five to 5'7 five, at maximum or something like that, just for example. So what's very, very important is if you want to change, change on the possible. And sometimes it's not even about the size of, let's say, your body, like your height or, or your boobs or stuff like that, or the way you were born. Maybe, for example, there's something in your face, like, I don't know, the shape of your nose or your lips that you don't like. Of course, you can do plastic surgery and change it, but can you afford it and other things? So I don't know. 
So it's about what you do with what you have. It's 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 always like that in in the business world with, with a career with other things. Do best with what you have. That's why I'm always telling everyone. If you have certain talents or qualities about yourself, maybe you have pretty eyes, you have pretty lips, pretty nose, but maybe a- another thing in your face is something you don't like, or maybe you are you are short, but I don't know, maybe you are very athletic, you know. You also have to keep in mind also like when it comes to attraction and and it doesn't matter if it's girls or boys. Like one reason for attraction is not just the height of someone, be it a girl or a guy. It's also about your body shape, for example, there can be a guy and he's very, very tall, but he's like, let's say, from a physical aesthetic, not so good looking because, I don't know, he's extremely skinny or extremely fat. But maybe you're the shorter guy or, or girl, whatever, but you are very muscular and athletic and, and you're well trained. You know, you can also get points like that and, and, and let's say sex appeal or something like that. So, yeah, it, it, it's all about what you do with what you have. The same is with the career. You don't need to be a master or, or a doctor, uh, graduate to, to be like successful in life. There are some people, they only did high school, some just have a bachelor and they make as much or more money than someone who, for example, has a master degree. It's all about your ideas and what you do with your life and what kind of direction you go. And if you have something you're good at and you get better and better at it, you can make tons of money. For example, hmm. You work in a bakery, let's say, and you work there for some years, but your family or your friends say, oh, you just work at a bakery. And I believe actually working in a bakery is a good job. But some people say, oh, you just have average income. Hey, look at your neighbor. He's now an engineer at, let's say, Mercedes or whatever. But if you like what you what you do and you keep doing it, you might even have your own shop in the future that's successful. Like you run your own bakery or something, or maybe you buy a factory that makes bread. Like you can actually grow in, 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 in any way in life. Be it uh, physically, be it socially, be it career-wise. You can still get education even when you're older. There are like some people that study late. Like if you don't feel good about yourself, there are always ways to fix it. So keep that in mind. Like there's, there's a saying, it's like never too late unless you're dead. And that's what it is. So always keep going and keep looking forward, okay? So if you have decided to change yourself, you need to start by making adjustments. For example, let's say you don't feel good about yourself because you don't have many friends or you're single for a long time, then you have to work on your social skills. And if you're like very insecure and shy, you can start by going out and greeting elderly people on the street by by saying to people just hi or maybe next time you say, hey, how are you talking to your neighbors? And by that way, you learn to open up. It's very easy to just say hi to someone on the road. And if you do this more often, you just say hi, hi, hi. At some point, you lose more up and you will be able to speak to people more and ask simple questions, maybe get in conversations and maybe invite someone to hang out or eat something with you. If it is about your body and you feel too fat, for example, you can change your diet, you can eat more vegetables, salad. And what actually really helps is also like cutting uh, sweet drinks, like soft drinks, don't have so much chocolate or candy. It also does miracles. And what's also like very, very good is if you're like very skinny, for example, and you want to gain muscle and shape, that's for girls and boys, try to eat something with a lot of protein. Like try to eat stuff like, let's say chicken, beans, and then include that like a lot in your diet and then work out constantly and you will see results. If it's about a career, you can think about if you want to get further education or if you want to become a professional at what you do and do it more and more and more and try to grow in this area. There's also something you can do. So yeah, it's like very important that you make adjustments because change does not come from nothing. It's all about work and effort you put into it, be it in a physical way, be it in a career way, be it in a social way. You have to make adjustments. What if your adjustments don't work? Then you are doing something wrong. Either you're not studying enough or you're not working hard enough. Or if it's about your your physical look, 
you don't uh, train enough maybe you don't eat enough and you're still like super skinny because how do you expect to build up muscle if you don't eat proteins and you you eat the right way while you train so your your gain will be very little and the same is with people that for example want to lose weight if you still eat like a lot of candy or chocolate and you have like so many soft drinks then of course you don't lose weight so easily and you also need to figure out how long you actually will take to reach your goal if you feel like your adjustments don't work maybe it's because your expectation is way too high for example you want to be slim in just one week how is that possible maybe you lose one kilogram maybe you lose two kilograms you know it's it's about the the time also so maybe your, your adjustments are working but you don't give your have enough time to let it work same with studying if you study one day hard you will not have the results you have to do everything for a longer period of time not just for for like a week or some days and then growth will come in time like step by step it's the same with the construction of a house if, if your goal is like a house you first need the foundation and then you need to build level by level you need to build it up level by level and then you get there eventually so yeah Either you have the wrong method for your adjustments or you are expecting too much too fast. So give yourself time for it. And maybe you even have some friends or people you know and they had maybe the same problem as you. They can also give you advice on what they did. You can also try their method. It might work for you. So you can always consult with people that you trust and know well. Now I changed, but I still don't feel good about myself. Hmm. If you have this thought and feeling, then you probably change for someone else. And maybe that person is no longer around or maybe still around, but it's not what makes you happy. Or maybe you had the wrong idea. Like you maybe thought you feel bad about yourself, about a certain way, but actually that certain way, maybe something physical or career wise was not the reason why you felt bad and you had a, a misunderstanding about yourself that means the step one or two went wrong so that's also something you have to consider before you really make a change to yourself you have to be aware if that's really what you want maybe you have a complete different problem or what also can cause you to not feel good about yourself is that you have like a lot of insecurity those adjustments and changes you made try to practically use them like go out more, meet new people and, and, and try, just try it and see if something changed about you. Or even with a career, try to apply for a certain job or try to maybe even open your own business and just see where it goes. Like you have to give yourself a chance, not just be like, oh, now I changed and, and I'm still not happy. You have to use those changes for your benefit. I mean that you improved something about yourself should always make you feel better because you have growth, you have success. Even if this is not your main goal or, or the only goal, you have some plus on about you. Like you get extra points for yourself, you know. So you should always feel at least a bit better about yourself if you improve. But yeah, if, if you're still not happy, then it was the wrong problem you had with yourself. But trust me. If you work on yourself and you have results, you have growth and growth should motivate us to keep going in life. I hope this video was helpful for you, for those that have problems and don't feel good about themselves. Because I feel like these days a lot of people are insecure about themselves. I saw this even in my friend circle, like they don't want to approach people. Maybe they like someone, they don't want to speak to them. Or some even want to have a certain job or career, but they are too scared to apply for it. And I always tell them, hey, go for it. What can happen? You have nothing to lose. If someone doesn't want to talk to you, you try it on the next person. If you can't get one job, you try another one. Even then, you can still consider to be self-employed. There are like a lot of things you can do in life. Or if you fail one exam, then you just try harder the next exam. You know, there are like many things in life where you have like options. And even if the first option fails, you, there's always an option... B, option C, option D, it just, it's just like full of options. There are a lot of options in life. So always stay positive. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. Till next time.